Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the performance of macOS running on my Dell Precision M6700 and comparing it to the same laptop running Windows to see if we're losing anything by running macOS. So without further ado, let's get to it. We'll start out our testing on the Windows side of things with Geekbench 4. This will test the CPU and give us a score for its performance. And the results are in. 3686 for the single core and 11,899 for the multi-core score. Not too shabby for a 5-year-old laptop. Next up is Cinebench, which also tests the CPU. And we've got a score of 671. Again, not too shabby. That's even higher than a Core i7-3770. Next is Cinebench's GPU test. Something to note here that under Windows, we can make use of the dedicated Quadro K5000M GPU. But under macOS, we're limited to the integrated Intel HD 4000. So expect GPU performance to kind of be a slaughterhouse here. And the GPU score here in Cinebench is 98 frames per second. Last but not least is Unigen Heaven, set to the medium preset at 1080p. And with the Quadro, we average about 55 frames per second, and it never really drops below 45. For the sake of comparison, here's the same test running under Windows on the HD 4000 we get about 7 to 8 frames per second. Now, on to Mac OS. Again, let's start out here with Geekbench. And here it is. 3329 on the single core and 11,881 on the multi-core. So for this test, multi-core is almost identical, but we do lose almost 300 points in the single core performance. Next is the Cinebench CPU test. And for this one, we only get 554. Under Windows, we get 671. So there is a pretty big difference here. I honestly wasn't expecting the difference to be that big. On to Cinebench's GPU test. The Intel HD 4000 gets a rather underwhelming 20 frames per second in macOS. And the story isn't really any better in Unigen Heaven. Here we're getting between 6 and 7 FPS. So there actually is a pretty big performance hit. Obviously not being able to use the Quadro GPU was going to make a difference, but CPU rendering like in Cinebench's CPU test performed pretty significantly worse. That said, for day-to-day -day tasks like web browsing, the difference isn't really noticeable at all. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you'd like to see what I make next. I'll see you guys next time.